Howdy y'all, welcome back to Rats Nest Hot Rods. I uh, wanted to show you the most important thing that you need to buy if you're going to use a pop blaster from Harbor Freight. It's the Dead Man Valve. Uh, the blaster comes um, out of the box with a 3 8 brass valve that will, uh, the abrasive will blow a hole inside of it uh, before you get through one pot and uh, start blowing uh, abrasive into your hand. Um, it wears out from the inside, just kind of chews it up. So buy one of these. You have to have it or you'll be going back to uh, Home Depot and buying uh, four or five brass valves until you finally go back to Harbor Freight and get a dead man valve such as this. It comes with uh, four different nozzle sizes, ceramic inside rubber. Uh, I always opt for the largest one and the uh, thing works great. Um, stops the uh, air and the abrasive uh, quite quickly. Um, easy to break down if you get a clog in it or something like that and it threads right on to the fitting that comes in the end of the hose that you get with your Harbor Freight blaster. Um, I'll show you here in a minute. You can see there's rubber and then you got a metal plate that uh, kind of does the stopping there. Um, it does wear out. This unit does wear out and yeah the rubber and ceramic do a little bit but the thing that gets you on this is that metal flat metal piece which I'm about to show you right now. Um, that's the part that um, you end up going to buy another one unless you're going to weld a new uh, flat piece of metal. You can see there to the right there you can kind of see how that metal's worn out and it's kind of blown out that rubber piece uh, pass. Obviously the nozzle's worn out too but that's not the problem. It's the metal piece that wears out so that when you when you let off the valve it doesn't quite seat all the way so air and abrasive keeps coming out. It's really annoying and you end up going to buy another one. $17 with your 20% off uh, coupon from Harbor Freight. Um, big deal throw it out and you can keep the extra nozzles but uh, like I said the nozzles are stronger than that soft piece of metal on the end there and uh, I thought about welding a piece in there and uh, yeah forget it I just picked up another one the next time I was at the store and we're gonna replace it here and do a quick demo um, this thing uh, is a, the the pot blaster itself is great it works awesome I have the 40 pound version um, once you get used to opening the air and, and abrasive valves and getting it set where you want, uh, it works great. I always shoot uh, recycled glass through there, either a medium or a fine grit. Uh, collect it, sift it, and put it back in and, and use it again since I'm in the garage. Yes, it uh, makes quite a mess in there, um, but uh, it's better. I like doing it in there because uh, I actually like my neighbors and... Uh, if I shoot it outside, I'm not going to be able to reclaim it and use it four or five times before I throw it away. So this is the way I do it. It works uh, It works for me. And then, yeah, when you get into uh, the paint portion of the project, you got to get that uh, garage super clean, which uh, if you watch my other videos, you've seen the blasting and you've seen the painting done in there. So it does happen. It is possible. Um, and saves you money that way saves you money and time I think just keeping everything in one spot so there's a new valve uh, let's cut over to the car here I'm going to uh, air up the, uh, the pot and then we're gonna do a little quick uh, demo on the rocker of this 65 Cadillac here and then I'll cut you loose to go back about your day um, like I said this is a blaster or the dead man blast valve and you'll see just how good this blaster works here at stripping the paint old uh, seam sealer and all that good stuff right off this rocker quite quickly. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but uh, for um, doing kind of small jobs and uh, um, working through uh, some of the tighter areas on this car where you don't want to strip it with a chemical stripper or um, with a DA or a grinder, this is the way to go, I think. So don't hesitate on using one of these Harbor Freight pot blasters and definitely pick yourself up a dead man valve. There you go, boys and girls. Peace and grease, sucker.